What is objectivity? What's truth with a capital T? What is God? When I found out about the Tikva Scholars Program, yeah, sign me up, I wanna try. The Tikva Scholars Program is founded on pretty ambitious principles. When you gather the most curious, the most passionate young men and women, and you put them in front of some of the best professors, the best teachers, the best educators in a lovely campus setting, great conversations take place and deep, deep learning. As someone who's Jewish and I would say also lives in a Western country, I'm interested in the philosophies and the ideas that underline both of those. I've learned about concepts in American political history, Jewish ideas from both the Talmud but also more modern sources and commentaries. We're not only putting great texts of the Western world, great texts of the Jewish canon in front of our students, but we're also putting some of the most accomplished minds and practitioners in front of them so that they can learn what wisdom is embodied in human people. The way I teach in the Tikva Scholars Program is by providing a variety of primary sources. They are reading the writings of the thinkers themselves. The learning is really discussion-based, and so we'll all familiarize ourselves with the text. And many of them are from ancient Greece or Rome, but there's also some from the Middle Ages and even more modern sources. And then the vibe itself is really discussion-based. The students play a central role in the class. It really is driven by their contributions. I have uh, questions in mind and areas of interest in the text that I want to guide us towards, but it is their reaction that fill out the class. One class I really enjoyed this past week was called Greek Thought Revisited in a Jewish Lens. We looked at some old Greek texts like Plato and Aristotle, and we revisited them through the values that we learn in the Talmud and in the Tanakh. And so to be with a lot of people unpacking these texts and really going in a deep dive, I really appreciate it. I think the students are most impacted specifically in terms of the peer-to-peer -peer relationships that they build and the peer-to-professor relationships they build because people are making real time to get to know one another on a very meaningful level. It's not only inside the classroom, it's also at lunch and at dinner, during the meals. Your professors want to come sit down with you and engage and continue the conversations that you were having previously. We're eating meals together, we're learning together, we're singing together and praying together. And at the end of the day, it really feels like a community. It makes me so excited to wake up every morning and be on this beautiful campus and just really feel like I'm connected to everybody else. There is no other place where you can find just the collective of so many smart, passionate, enthusiastic people. We're going to exercise some muscles and stretch you intellectually, mentally, emotionally, and also just in terms of the diversity of positions that people will encounter. All of that, I think, makes for a much stronger, healthier, pluralistic society. It starts them on a path, and if they are persuaded that books like this are actually the road to understanding the world in which they live, then that's a very successful week. It was a caliber of conversation that I've never had in my life and that I know is only possible at the Tikva Scholars Program. I really hope to continue the Tikva Scholars Program when given the chance wherever, whenever.